<laughs> I'm used to Ariana shaming me, so. Yeah, I mean. It's whatever. Uh, I'm just here to entertain people. Like, it's not how True. I really am in real life. I mean, you don't care. Kind of why I'm not it's... a fan of her anymore, honestly. Like, I'm so yeah. getting rid of all my Ariana stuff. Kind of why I'm not a fan of her anymore, honestly, like. In 2022, it's really not uncommon to see celebrity lookalikes online. Like we have fake Drake and Perkyo who walk around and make a name for themselves by just being a lookalike, with fake Drake even performing some of Drake's actual songs during venues for money. Some of these impersonations are harmless, like some of the content creators on TikTok. But some of these doppelgangers take it to the next level. For example, like Paige Neiman, who's an Ariana Grande lookalike, who looks so much like Ariana that even the community couldn't tell the difference when I put up a picture of her on the community tab. Paige has grown her audience around the fact that she is the one and only Ariana Grande doppelganger. But today we're gonna look at some of the controversy that she's recently gotten into with starting an OnlyFans on the premise of cosplaying as Ariana Grande. Now, if you're a celebrity, you are bound to have doppelgangers who try to look or act like you. Ariana Grande has been some subjected to many impersonators over the years, but Paige Neiman is the youngest. At just 15 years old, Paige started to impersonate Ariana Grande's mannerisms and image and would perfect both by the age of 18. Paige Neiman has grown her TikTok following to over 10 million followers as of today, but in the beginning, it wasn't always about looking like Ariana Grande. Paige started her TikTok account when it was musically, and there are still videos on her account as of today where she's being herself, but you could tell even way back then that she was a big fan of Ariana Grande because of the wall of Ariana Grande Grande posters in the back of her videos. Paige Neiman being herself changed pretty abruptly. When she first started uploading to Musical.ly, it only lasted a couple weeks before she quit due to the lack in video views. From 2017 to 2018, Paige took a step away from making content. 2019, when Paige came back to TikTok, that's when she started to cosplay as Ariana Grande, and it seemed like as soon as Paige started to upload videos in Ariana Grande makeup and cosplay, her TikTok would start to explode in views. Right off the rip, Paige's TikTok account generally generated buzz when she came back to the platform in 2019. With this increase in views, it wouldn't take long for Paige and her TikTok account to gain 1 million followers, with Paige's first mega viral video being uploaded on November 19th, 2019. This video generated 32 million views with 4.3 million likes to go along with it. Eventually, Paige posted this TikTok. It's a dog toy that looks like a phone, isn't it cool? Chew toy cell phone to help me get through the week. I mean, I know this TikTok video would catch the eye of Ariana Grande, and on Twitter, Ariana would respond, stating, I just wonder why the cat voice slash dialogue. I'm sure she is the sweetest, sweet, sweetheart for real, but it's definitely bizarre seeing people blend the two worlds. LMAO. In an interview in December of 2019 with Entertainment Tonight, Paige stated that Ariana did directly message her on Instagram. Paige said that Ariana told her to be herself. What did she say? She said, I'm flattered. She just wanted to let me know that I'm beautiful in my own way. And I said, thank you. And thank you for being so kind to me. And she said, like, I'm proud of you. So. Around this time, Paige also poked fun at another Ariana Grande lookalike, Jess Chick. Paige Neiman poked fun at some old videos that Jess made about Ariana Grande. Jess Chick responded in a video titled, This Girl Tried to Come For Me. This is what Jess said during her video. Why come for me when you're doing the exact same thing that I did? So I didn't have time to get dressed and film another segment just because I do have to go somewhere. So I wanted to record a quick voiceover. I just found out that Paige is, I believe, 15. So that explains a lot. Um, this girl is really, really young. I'm 21, so I'm legally an adult. She's really young. She's at such an impressionable age. She's at such an influential age. She's at such a naive age. 
But sweetie, maybe try in the future to not take that out on other people. Um, maybe understand that other people have different sides of their stories. They may not be experiencing what you're experiencing. Um, but you just never know. And I hope that you blossom into the beautiful young woman that I know you are. And I hope that you gain so much success and so much recognition for the person that you are as a person and that you will show everyone that you are and that you continue to be great, be amazing, be the freaking star that we all can see that you are. And yeah, just continue shining. Just seriously, just continue shining and just know that I made my whole video with love. I am so very sorry so 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 very sorry from the bottom of my heart to the moon nothing ever came of this video and i'm sure Paige never responded but i do think that jess was getting some negative backlash because she ended up disabling the comments on the video now even though the interaction between ariana grande and Paige seemed friendly at first and in 2019 but that would change in 2020. now i don't know if this friendship went sour because of how many times Paige imitated ariana but it seemed like ariana started to become more upset with how far Paige was going with this imitation act Ari Ariana shared a video onto her Instagram story and wrote, Oh my god, can this please also double as your impression of the ponytail TikTok girls who think doing the cat valentine voice and that wearing winged eyeliner and a sweatshirt is doing a good impersonation of me? Cause this is really how it feels, degrading its entire value. I scream. This was a direct jab at Paige and Paige knew it. She would later go on IG Live and state that Ariana has been throwing shade at her for a while now and that's why she's not that big of a fan of her anymore. <laughs> I'm used to Ariana shading me, so. Yeah, I mean, it's whatever. A, I'm just here to entertain people. Like, it's not how True. I really am in real life. I mean, if you don't care. Kind of why I'm not it's, a fan of her anymore, honestly. Like, I'm so yeah. getting rid of all my Ariana stuff. But even though Paige said that she was not a fan of Ariana anymore, that didn't stop her from acting and dressing exactly like her. Paige eventually got a manager and started getting into modeling and acting. Now, another big controversy came in 2021 when Ariana Grande got married. Paige posted to her Instagram account recreating Ariana's wedding day photos with almost the exact same dress. People were upset because they felt like because the wedding is such a big day that it shouldn't be recreated by a lookalike. And also, this is still the time where Paige said that she was trying to be her own person. Now, for what it's worth, these controversies are pretty minor. Recreating wedding photos and getting called out for growing your brand by acting and looking like Ariana grande is pretty small and with this brand continuing to grow she would eventually get her own spotlight on truly which is a channel that has a series called hooked on the look during this video she states that when she was younger she started getting compared to ariana grande and more specifically in fourth grade and she says that she didn't even know who ariana grande was when she first started getting compared to her this video came out in july of 2022 and now has 52,000 views this next move from Paige is a lot worse than the other things in the past in april of 20 22, Paige turned 18, and for a while things seemed to be pretty normal until Pop Crave tweeted out a photo with Paige Neiman's OnlyFans account. This is when the fans of Ariana Grande started to take this as disrespect towards the singer. Not only does this banner photo still sport the image that looks like Ariana, but the profile picture also does the same thing. From my investigative research, Paige's OnlyFans cost $16 a month, and even though she states that she's not impersonating anyone with this account, it becomes misleading with her profile picture and banner photo. This is a girl who just turned 18 and for the past three years has used Ariana Grande to grow her own personal brand. So to then turn around and start an OnlyFans knowing that you have a following due to you being an Ariana Grande doppelganger is just wrong. It's not wrong that she started an OnlyFans, I mean do what you gotta do to make some money, but it becomes wrong when you create it after years of impersonating someone else. It's crazy because on her TikTok, it did seem like she was trying to become her own person, but that all changed with this new development. Ariana Grande fans had a field day on Twitter stating, Paige Neiman starting an OF cosplaying as Ariana Grande is one of the most disrespectful things I've ever seen. In my opinion, this is going too far and it's disgusting, weird, and insanely disrespectful. And also, the fact that Paige Neiman is still behaving this way after more than two and a half years is so wild. That's nearly three years of your life you're behaving like someone else. Since this news came out of Paige creating an OnlyFans account, Paige has lost over 200,000 followers on TikTok and has struggled to grow on the platform. I personally thought that after the negative 
backlash. That Paige might have deleted her OnlyFans, but I was wrong. It's pretty crazy because Paige Neiman was actually subscribed to my channel back when I only had around 30,000 or 40,000 subscribers, and then eventually would unsubscribe throughout, I don't know what time. But to see this drama come full circle and me actually making a video on her, it's pretty crazy. Now, look, I understand that we live in a day and age where people are constantly on the chase to make more and more money, and Paige is just another runner trying to make it to the finish line. But the way that she's doing it is completely wrong. Ariana Grande hasn't commented on Paige's OnlyFans account, but I do think that Paige could get into legal trouble if she tries to use the Cat Valentine voice on OnlyFans. Again, Paige is still really young, and like most things in life, people just outgrow things. We already saw Ariana Grande's old lookalikes outgrow that part of their life, and eventually Paige will do the same thing as well. I also don't know if this was her manager making her start an OnlyFans, but if it was, that was a really bad move on his part, seeing the hate that she already received for copying Ariana's look in the past. Paige is young and maybe eventually she will grow out of her mindset, but as for now, this is where we are. But this has been the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and join the Discord. Both are linked in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.